folks aren't talking about the fact that now the Russians are dipping their big toes in with, uh, with Bernie? With Bernie. I don't think they ever stopped really meddling with our election. I think they've right. actually gotten better at it, and I think mm -hmm. they've been planning since 2016 to get better, and I think actually the Chinese are probably involved as well and, and others. But Bernie was briefed privately about the fact that Russia is likely helping him with his election and then wasn't really that forthright, in my opinion, with the public. And although he did make a statement and said, you know, Putin, I, I don't want you involved, and if I become president, I'll make sure that you aren't involved, we have to understand that Russia has always wanted to sow discord yeah. uh, with our election. And that's what this is all about. And I also think a piece of this is uh, about the fact that if Bernie is, is, let's say, the nominee, and if he wins, Trump will contest the results of the election because of Russia being involved. And so that may also be part of the Russian plan. And the bottom line is the Trump administration that's has like not really put in... a far jump into the future. It I is, mean, but we like have to think 30, that... thousand steps away. We have to think that I mean, far ahead. Well, it's based on knowing we, him already. Well, we have but, to think that far ahead. what I think is so ahead. interesting is that Friday, we actually opened up our show talking about how Trump was being... had been briefed about Russian involvement in his, um, you know, that mm -hmm. Russians also so we're in the tank for him. Right. We didn't mention that Bernie was also briefed at the yeah. same time. Mm -hmm. That was completely omitted from reports. Mm -hmm. We also didn't mention that now it's come out that maybe the um, people that had briefed those people or that had briefed the campaigns maybe overstepped it a little bit. Now there's conflicting reports coming out. And I just always think it's interesting that when we're talking about Russia, we only ever talk about Trump when it comes out that Bernie has this just as serious a problem as Trump does. And, and why? why are we not talking about that? Well, why, talk about why is that why? something so we're it, just omitting from our the, hot topics? The, the other question is we why? Didn't I just you heard about on I, Friday. So, no, <laughs> I wasn't. Your fault, so maybe. I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm <laughs> irritated by it yeah. because yeah. I think we talked ages ago saying, hey, if we're going to get this problem taken care of, of interference by anybody, we have to be on top of it. And people have been scratching their butts, kind of going, well, maybe, I don't this know. This administration it looks like has, it. I think, proactively prevented people what we from done? putting in guardrails here. What, 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 has anyone done anything? Well, there are, there are bills on Mitch McConnell's desk. He won't do anything about it. He doesn't, it's not in his interest to, to no, not interfere not. with the race. But here's what I want to say about uh, why is uh, Donald Trump so excited about Bernie? You have a tape of he his, is very his reaction? Good. Let's hear that for a sec. No, I think it was a great win for Bernie Sanders. Uh, we'll see how it all turns out. They've got a lot of winning to do. Uh, I hope they treat him fairly. Frankly, I don't care who I run against, I just hope they treat him fairly. I congratulate Bernie Sanders, and if it's going to be him, he certainly has a substantial lead. Right, so <laughs> it, no one knows who it's going to be. I know you'd like it to be Bernie, but we don't know. We right. don't know. He usually, we'll see. He usually yeah. reserves his kind of enthusiasm for dictators and porn stars. <laughs> and so, so Bernie is like a dictator or a porn star in the eyes of Trump? No. Well, I mean, no. He's so, super excited. No, but the enthusiasm that, that he's showing is yeah. because he thinks he can beat Bernie. Right. And the, you know, he went after, he went to the Ukraine to try and hurt Biden. Bernie spent his honeymoon in the in Soviet Russia. I mean, I think if you're going to go back and forth about who's more in the tank with Russia, it's a really hard one between Bernie and Trump. Well, the, I, I, mean, I think. Thank you very much, sir, in the blue who, shirt. Whoever, <laughs> who, whoever it is, Bernie's. whoever it is, we got a problem, y'all. Yeah. This is this is still America. I know. It, you know, whoever you're pissed at at the moment, it's not. That's not the important issue. Have, the important thing is that we have an issue with interference, and that's where we're going to eat it.